National Jukebox Day is the day before every Thanksgiving, on November 24 this year. Music is the soundtrack of our lives, and this day celebrates the jukebox, shining some light on the device that brought and still brings music into our lives in a special way. The jukebox has a rich history, the nostalgia it carries is unparalleled. It has been around for era after era of modern music, from jazz to country and blues to rock. Celebrate this historic machine today as you visit your hometown restaurants and bars in preparation for Thanksgiving with family and old friends. Jukeboxes revolutionized music in multiple ways. With the invention of the jukebox, people could enjoy music in restaurants and bars. Artists found a new way to get public exposure and were further enabled to sell vinyl. The jukebox is a historical and cultural symbol in more ways than one. Louis Glass and William S. Arnold, managers of the Pacific Phonograph Company, created the first jukebox. Called a nickel in the slot phonograph at the time, this revolutionary was displayed at the Palais Royal Saloon in San Francisco, California, on November 23, 1889. It saw instant success, making over $4,000, the equivalent of about $120,249.23 today, in the first year alone, and inspired innumerable people to create different versions all over the US in no time, phonograph parlors with multiple nickel in the slot phonographs spread across America and Europe. As the machine's expansion and popularity increased, technological advancements were made. Record manufacturers came up with methods to produce record copies more efficiently, amplifiers were developed to enable large groups to listen simultaneously, and a disc record replaced the phonograph cylinder. In 1905, John Gable presented the Automatic Entertainer to the world, which had 24 song selections. In 1928, Justice P. Seberg manufactured a multi-select jukebox called the Audiophone, and it had eight separate turntables, allowing people to choose from eight different records. The jukebox took a hit when radio, another form of free entertainment, emerged in the 1920s, and the Great Depression hit in the 1930s. The sale of records saw a drastic dip as people lost the ability to spend on recreation. However, after the Great Depression, jukeboxes quickly bounced back and were thrust into their golden age as people got ready to live it up again. The term jukebox is believed to have originated in Southern American states and came into existence in 1937. Since then, the jukebox's popularity has increased steadily, its form ever-changing. From a wooden box with listening tubes to colorful lights, metal, art deco designs, and even bubbles. Jukeboxes gave a new meaning to entertainment and gave artists a louder voice. They have done innumerable things for humanity, inspiring touch tunes, a digital jukebox platform, to declare the day before Thanksgiving as National Jukebox Day in 2017. On this day event is an educational project. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.